Happy New Year! You forget it's a New Year already. It's 2017. I wow. want to shake your hand, yeah, Mr. Okay. Curry. So yeah, you know what? Can you please turn off your calendar? That thing said 216 yet. Gee whiz, you gotta turn your year. calendar. Yeah. Cheryl, <laughs> turn the calendar. I, I know he's gonna say that. So what's happening, man? 2017. Yeah, it's a new year. We started off with mochi soup. Oh. Ozone, oh. you call it. Okay. Oh. And real simple to make, you know. Okay. There, and you can you can put practically anything in there. Oh, is that right? Yeah. But it's gonna be an odd number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and also uh, ingredients from the mountain and from, from the, the sea. ocean. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Okay. So we start off this uh, part of uh, uh, broth uh -huh. yeah, with uh, 10 cups water. Okay. Okay. And then we put a little shoyu. Okay. And uh, you know what you need? You really need this. It's called dry kelp. Yeah, the you know, combo, that thing. Yeah, uh, combo, yeah. You know, you know everybody uses it. If you like kaji sushi, they make the rice mm -hmm. go, they put them on top and they yeah. put it on fish. And I tell you, it's such a magical product, yeah. man. Yeah, so we uh, use kelp. And then we also use shrimp. Yeah. Yeah. And a uh, little shoyu okay. in the broth. Okay. And mushroom. Okay. Okay, shiitake. So your main dashi in here is what? Water, Chicken, water, show you kelp, okay, yeah, AB, okay, yeah, and then she talking. Oh, yeah. okay. Also, for you today, we made uh, we, we put hokey guy in there. Oh, this is real good. Oh, stuff. They're expensive, man. Yeah. You can take them up a yeah. notch, yeah, and it's available. KTA, oh, yeah, not, not too bad. This one, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Even get frozen kahoki guy too. It's yeah. pretty reasonable too. Mm -hmm. And finally, we put mizuna. Mizuna. Yeah. Okay. Dampo. Sort of a topping, yeah. Okay. Okay. So and I see you get one mochi here. Yeah. We have the broth. Okay. Okay. We have it boiling, and we're gonna mix it up. I put my mochi right on the side. Good. I don't like it because the mochi you put like it comes beta beta. Yeah. You know what beta beta no, is? No, no, okay. I don't know. It comes all mushy. Okay. Okay, so I, And by the way, John, yeah. you know, like for me, I sometimes I lay there do all that. I just use chicken broth. Oh, yeah. that's your yeah. secret, yeah. huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah As yeah. you said, you can put anything, you can yeah? You put anything. People yeah. put carrots, they yeah, put yeah, gobo, yeah, they yeah, put yeah, rain yeah, corn, yeah, yeah, yeah. they put all so those look, things. Look, look, I found out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hot, hot, hot. Mm. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Call Happy the fire. New Year! Call the fire department. <laughs> Aloha, you're watching Seniors Living in Paradise. Today we're featuring a special group of women. Uh, They've contributed so much and made a difference in the lives of our people. And they're called the Hilo Quilters Club. And with me, my friend Kathy Takehiro, who's been a real long time member of the club. Kathy, can you tell us a little more about how you guys could organize, what, what the purpose is, etc.? Certainly. Um, we were established 11 years ago as part of and with Nancy Yoshimura from the Fabric Workshop and many of us took lessons from her and then we decided oh, to do the club mm -hmm. and so we have been doing that for the last 11 years and usually yearly we select an area. This year our prime, prime area was the Hospice of Hilo. I see. So you, you guys do this for different organizations yes, uh, yes. throughout the community? Y yes, we have. We've done for Salvation Army, the group in, in Hilo, and then the one out in um, Honoka. So, yes, so we, we select areas that they need, they have. People. And you guys make these beautiful quilts, yeah? <laughs> We try to do our best because we're trying to do what our instructor was telling us. Now that she's gone, we have to shift on our own, but we help each other. That's she moved to Colorado, I understand. Yeah. But anyway, how many members uh, 
do you have currently? Currently we have 10 and we still count Nancy. Nancy is still part of our club. Okay. okay. So I'd like to introduce you to our president. This is Audrey and she will uh, introduce the rest of... Audrey, show him your quilt. <laughs> Hello, I'm Audrey Haraguchi, the current president of the Hilo Quilters Club. And to my immediate left is Marion Kurahara, Lani Yamami, Carol Ito, Delma Wong in the back row, Connie Tome, and Mary Hudak. We currently have three more members um, that's missing today. There's Sandy Satake, um, Amy Kaneko and Nancy Yoshimura, who now resides in Colorado. And Brenda Ho, the CEO of the Hospice of Hilo, had this to say about the contributions of the Hilo Quilters Club. Again, we feel extremely blessed in Hospice of Hilo and Kupu Care for the support that we get from the community. The Hilo Quilters Club uh, with Kathy Takahiro is a longtime supporter of Hospice of Hilo and many of the women in that club came together and made beautiful quilts to put on the beds uh, in our Pohai Malama Care Center. And I just want to share it, the difference and the impact that that has on the patients and the families there. It makes a huge difference to walk in and see that love through those quilts. Thank you very much for this contribution as well as all of the support we get from the community. Mahalo. Brenda Ho, oh, the CEO of uh, Hospice, has had a lot of nice words to say about the group, how much they appreciate your, your help. Well, we try to um, pick a an area in the community that would be appreciative of the work that we do. It was a pleasure. Uh, when we went up there, they took us through the complete facility that they have, and for many of us, it was the first time. Um, it was really a very comforting thing for us to do, and we're very happy that they're appreciative of that. And once again, the Hilo Quilters Club saying, Happy New Year! Okay, John, this is like leftover mochi. You got them in the freezer and everything else yeah. that everybody could have, right? Yeah. So you know, just take them out, put them inside like a microwave. I, I use this cup here, okay? Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this in the microwave and I'm going to make this soft, okay? Okay. Okay? So I try to wait here a little while, okay? <laughs> okay, I have them in the, I put it in the microwave, I made them soft, and I put butter and some oil inside the pan, okay? Butter. Yeah. Wow. And then I'm gonna fry it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You fry it up, and it comes really, really just like this, though. Come that is. You see that? <laughs> yeah? yeah. Like on pancake. Oh, just like on pancake. I kind of like to smash them down. Mm -hmm. Then you top it up. Put on some sugar. Wow. Yeah. All the guys stuff you find in your house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, you don't need to go in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Some guys are, oh, what do we do? I don't have kinako. <laughs> but as long as you have butter, mm -hmm. right? You have um, sugar, and here's a kicker. Just before the thing is finished, yeah. right? You fry both sides. You make them kind of crispy. Oh, look at that. <laughs> like a fried egg. Yeah, look, look, look at that. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, you see. Wow. Oh, look at that. Huh? Make it like, kind of like crispy. Just before finish, yeah. I grab it, I dump some show you on top. Ah! Ah! Grab all the goodies over there, okay? Okay, you grab all the goodies, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, put it on top. Look at that! Look at that! Yeah. Perfect. Right? Perfect. There you go. Leftover mochi. <laughs> if you get azuki inside, what you can do, you can put them inside your toaster oven. You can broil them like that. You know with the azuki. Yeah. Oh, so good. All the top gets all burned like that. Oh, oh. <laughs> even what I do with the azuki, I even smash them like that. I make them like you this. You gotta eat this. Yeah. You gotta try. Tell you. Oh, oh, you scared. You scared, Charlie. I'm scared. <laughs> so many ways to enjoy mochi. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
Oh, hot. <laughs> it's so good. I feel like I'm in Japan. <laughs> good. Good. Tomerito. Tomerito. Happy, Happy New Year. Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> Aloha and Happy New Year, everybody. We're here today at the famous, beautiful Lily Okalani Gardens in Hilo. I'm talking to Katie Cannon Eager and understand she's the president of a volunteer group helping to restore this park in anticipation of uh, the 100th anniversary. Katie, can you kind of brief us on what's happening here? Thank you so much, George, and Happy New Year. 2017 marks the beginning of, of an centennial celebration for Liliuokalani Gardens, also known as Nihon Koen. The um, territorial legislature in 1917 set aside 17 acres for the gardens. It has since, uh, after several tsunami, grown to 24 acres in size. Wow. We're so blessed to have active community groups here in Hilo with Rotary Clubs, Lions, East Hawaii Master Gardeners, Sierra Club, uh, wow. University of Hawaii students, and a very active working board of directors for Friends of Lili Okalani Gardens. Are you recruiting volunteers throughout the year? Oh yes, we are. We invite people to come uh, join us for monthly showing gratitude oh. to the garden. Once a month you have some activity going. And yes. I, I'm sure you're inviting the seniors out there. Oh, we can <laughs> always use help of experienced community people. Yes, indeed. There are so many people who grew up around this area, who grew up with Lily Okalani Gardens as their backyard. I see. Tell me uh, some of the activities uh, you guys are going to be participating in. In, uh, we have three different paths that we're following. Maintenance, capital improvements, and centennial events. Mm -hmm. For the maintenance, uh, we've spent about a year thinning the bamboo thicket. Oh. We're now working on uh, cleaning the pond. I see. And the next uh, big day for cleaning the pond will be Saturday, January 28th. Okay, wonderful. Our board of directors is um, just so active and so wonderful. Harvey Tajiri is our vice president. Jane Height is our treasurer. Uh, Amy Nishiura is our uh, liaison with the Urasenki Tea Group. Uh, Louis Howe with uh, Hawaiian Homelands. Um, oh, David you? Tamura with uh, helping us with a master plan. Yeah. Noi Noi Wong Wilson, uh, who's just retired from community college, uh, Glenn Miao, who brings a wealth of park planning experience to the table, uh, and Kenji Kuroshima, who lives here. He's from Kobe and has a lot of experience with gardens and tea. Alton Okinaka is our newest board member, and oh. he's bringing in the university students. Oh, wonderful. Folks, we're uh, talking to Alton Okinaka, and He's one of the newest board members. Can, can you kind of describe what's happening? Well, the ponds here haven't seriously been mucked out in over 30 years. And so the layer of muck and organic material on the bottom is very deep. And it's restricting the water flow so the water and the fish can't get in. And the ecosystem is pretty much dead. But there's only the wrong kind of algae growing in it right now. What we're trying to do is get a lot of the muck removed get back down to the bottom so and clear the grates so that the ocean water can flow through freely. And we're hoping that the limu and the fish will come back if we do that. When I first got here, we used to have mullet and some papillo in the brackish water. Now we don't see any of it. We only got the really tiny fish and we don't have the limu growing. So we're hoping that by mucking out the bottom, we can get the pond to semi-repair itself. Um, we talked to the university farm and we got them to agree to take the muck so they can use it as mulch. Oh, so we're letting the rain wash the salt out of it and then they will use it as mulch. So rather than try wasting it and filling the landfill, we came up with a way to make it useful. Well, in a way, we're really, really happy and we really appreciate all the efforts being done, you know, to uh, 
to lead up to this special celebration, but congratulations on another fine community project. This is such a wonderful treasure in our community, this cultural landscape. Mm -hmm. Thank you, George. Okay, George. This What's is this, uh, this time here is all about the guys that cannot cook. Okay? Okay. We always get stuff like that. Yeah. Mm. Okay, now this is frozen seasoned uh, chicken, okay? okay? They call this funny bone. You What's are? so funny about it? <laughs> 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 It's like the chicken thighs. Yeah. And they take a one piece of the meat and just leave the skin side with the meat and the, set the bone. Yeah. yeah? So they call it funny bowl. It's oh. already seasoned and everything. Mm -hmm. So what I did is that I just fried them. And look, yeah. it thing came like this. Wow. Yeah, funny bowl. It's already seasoned. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Too good, eh? So it's not pretty cool. Oh, it is pretty cool. Oh, I see. But every time when you cook them two times, they think are really oh, crispy. Oh, crispy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. this is funny bone. Wow. Yeah. So you know what they have? They're funny bone. Yeah. yeah? <laughs> and all, all you do is fight. <laughs> I you know? told you it was funny, boom. Not funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but the thing that really sells a lot to it, KTA, yeah. and all the men, they buy this, usually yeah. on weekends because they wives expect them to go grill. Mm -hmm. It's kind, you know, like chicken. Yeah? Mm -hmm. and this is like, uh, brought the Korean flavored chicken, yeah. right? And so it's boneless. It's boneless you know, yeah. Korean flavored chicken, get yeah. teriyaki flavor. Yeah. And just, just what I want to make them fast. I'm just going to do this and I'm going to dump them in the flour like this, okay? Oh, I I'm see. going to fry this. Yeah. And then it, it comes out real good. Everybody think, ah, oh, what a grill. Mm -hmm. And I know yeah. a lot of wives, they buy these on the weekend. Mm -hmm. because like, they like the husband go out and grill. And grill them, man. Like a ha ha ha, <laughs> you can fry them, right? <laughs> Yeah, so, okay, I'm going to fry some of these up. Just put plain flour, get all the seasoning on top. Yeah. I'm going to fry them up, mm -hmm. and we're going to be right back. Okay. Ha, 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 body bones. <laughs> Aloha. We're honoring a real special lady today, Mrs. Chizuyo Uwono, who's celebrating her 100th birthday, believe it or not, and she looks so great. Here to tell us a little more about her family, her background, we have Mr. Edna Kano. We're here at the Legacy Hilo, a nursing facility and restorative center. And um, I'm going to turn, turn it over to Mr. Nakano to introduce her. Hi, I'm Edna Kano, uh, son-in-law of Mrs. Shizuyo Iwono. It's my honor and pleasure to uh, recognize her. I've been Uh, her son-in-law for 40 years. She uh, has a mind that's decades younger than her 100 years. She uh, has two sisters. Uh, one sister lived till age 96 and passed away recently. Her other